Hi there. Now what I've got here is a follow-up to the previous video in this series on partial fractions. It's an example for you to try where we've got to express 3x plus 1 divided by x minus 2 times 2x squared plus 1. Split it up into partial fractions. So I'm assuming that you have watched the previous video in this series. If not, do check it out, okay, where we looked at handling quadratic factors. So if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check out your solution quickly, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So first of all then, let's just copy down that fraction. What we've got here is 3x plus 1, then all divided by a linear factor, that's x minus 2, and then we've got the quadratic factor, 2x squared plus 1. And then we can split this into partial fractions of the form, well, the first factor here is a linear factor, so what we get is a constant, let's call it a, divided by that linear factor, x minus 2. Now for the quadratic factor, that has the form a constant, let's call it b, times x, plus another constant, we'll call it c, divided by the quadratic factor, 2x squared then, plus 1. Now we multiply both sides by the denominator here. So that's going to leave us with 3x plus 1 being identical to the constant a times the quadratic factor, 2x squared plus 1. And then you're going to have plus bx plus c multiplied with the x minus 2. Now to work out a, b and c, we choose values of x or compare coefficients. The easiest thing I think we could do here is to make this bracket 0 by choosing x equaling 2. So if we just say here when x equals 2, what we've got on the left then is 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1, that gives us 7. So therefore we get 7 equals, and for this bracket, if x is 2, we're going to have 8 here plus 1 is 9, so we get 9 times a. And because x is 2 makes this bracket 0, that takes out all of this term. So rearranging this equation, you can see that a must be equal to 7 ninths. Now, to work out the next constant, then what I'm going to do is make this term here, the bx term, go to 0. And I can do that by choosing x to be 0. So when x is 0, then what we have on the left here is just simply 1. So therefore we've got 1 equals, if x is 0 here, we're just going to have 1 times a, 1 times the 7 ninths, which is just going to be 7 ninths. And then over here, if x is 0, then bx goes out. You're just left with minus 2 in this bracket. c times minus 2 is going to be minus 2c. Now if I rearrange this by adding 2c to both sides and subtracting 1 from both sides, I'm going to get 2c equals 7 ninths minus 1, which is going to be minus 2 ninths. And it follows from this that if I divide both sides by 2, then I get c equals minus 1 ninth. Now to get the last constant, b, then what I could do is substitute a value of x other than 2 or 0 into here and solve for b. But I always generally find the easiest option is just to compare the coefficients of x squared. But I'll leave it up to you to decide what you want to do. Okay, compare the coefficients of x squared. If I do that, what we've got here is 0. Okay, 
Over here, we've got just 2ax squared. A though is 7 ninths, so if I double that, I'm going to get 14 ninths. And then for this term here, if I expand the brackets, then I'm going to get bx squared. There won't be any other x squared terms, so the coefficient of x squared is just going to be b. So we've got plus b there. So very easy. We therefore have b equals minus 14 ninths. So now that we've got our constants, all we've got to do is just summarize. We've got 3x plus 1, all divided then by x minus 2 times 2x squared plus 1. Well, this is going to be identical to, well, we've got a over x minus 2. That's a positive value. So that can be written as 7 all divided by 9 times x minus 2. And then for this last term here, we've got plus and then bx, so that's minus 14 ninths times x, plus c, well that's just going to be minus 1 ninth, and all of this is divided by 2x squared plus 1. So we need to clean up this last fraction here. Let's just copy out the first term here again though. We've got 7 then all divided by 9 times x minus 2. But for this one what I could do is pull out the minus so we end up with a negative there and times top and bottom of this fraction here by the 9. So that's just going to leave me with 14x then we'll have plus 1, and all of that will be divided by 9 times 2x squared plus 1. So, hope you're able to get that right. If not, at least be able to see where you've gone wrong. And that brings us now to the end of this example.